Hey what's up you guys, it's Finny and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, haven't yet already, hit that subscribe button and the bell to turn on post notifications. Follow my social media in the description box below. I also have two other channels linked below, a vlog channel where I post bloopers and things going on in my life, things that don't make the cut on this channel, um, and a collab channel with my mom where we post some spooky witchy ghosty things. So you definitely want to check those out if you haven't yet already and subscribe to those. Today I am going to be going through some relationship deal breakers and letting you know if they're a deal breaker for me. I don't know why, I just am. <laughs> Sorry if you can hear the air, it's hot. Summer, you know? It's hot. So um, I just googled a bunch of relationship deal breakers and I wrote them down and we're gonna go through them. I don't know how many there are. I didn't write down every single one because I thought, I felt they were a bit repetitive, but that's that. Also, I'm going to move actually because I am sitting like on my knees and they hurt because I <laughs> cut them up and falling them by a little. Also, sorry, I have my tripod, but I don't have the thing that holds up my phone on the tripod. I don't know where it is. Everything's still in boxes. We're slowly unpacking and moving in still, so sorry about that. Okay, first one. Also, please play along in the comment section. Let me know what your deal breakers are, what they aren't, whatever it may be. Alright, first one. Doesn't like children. I think this can be interpreted two different ways. They don't want children and they don't like children. Like, I want to be around them. I think, I don't, I don't care if you don't want kids, that's like your business kind of thing, but if you don't like children, that might be a relationship deal breaker because there's always a reason, you know? I don't know. I don't know. That one's a hard one. The first one's always so hard, man. Um, I think it might be a deal breaker. I love children. Children love me. I don't know. That sounded way wrong, but it's, I just, I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway. <laughs> all of that out smokes um I don't think it's a deal breaker I have dated smokers and non smokers so it's not really a deal breaker I don't care what you do really it's your life it's your body it's your everything so not a deal breaker lives far now is it like a 45 minute drive far or like three states over far I don't think either way it's a deal breaker because if you want to see that person you will make time to see them there's FaceTime there's social media there's so many ways to connect these days that I don't think distance should be an issue it can be an issue in a lot of relationships but it shouldn't be an issue I personally won't have a problem with it keeps you waiting um, this is a deal breaker for me if you're like I'm gonna be there at 7 and you don't even say you're on your way until 740 I'm it's not working out no <laughs> I don't do that if you say you're gonna be here at 7 I'm ready five minutes before 7 so I'm not waiting around for an hour you know just saying deal breaker yes doesn't like music I mean, as long as, I don't care what you do or don't like on music wise, that doesn't make sense. Um, no, I don't think it's a deal breaker. If you don't want to listen to music, I have headphones if I want to listen to music. And if we're in the car and I want to listen to music, you're just going to deal with it, you know? That's how things work. <laughs> Lies. That is kind of a deal breaker if I know you're like full on lying about Unless it's something dumb, I don't, I don't know. I don't think there should be lies, even dumb things. It's like, just say the truth, you know? 
I feel like this is a bad angle. I feel like my face is so circular today. Cheap. Um, no, I don't think that's a deal breaker if you're cheap. If I want something, I will find the money to get it myself. And, you know, what you need, you can buy cheap. I don't know. Maybe you'll go without it. Not my problem. It's your, it's your money. It's your choice, I guess. Really selfish. Mm, you know... I think I'm gonna say deal breaker, but I don't think I've really known too many selfish people, because if you're into me, then I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I can't put it like, yes, that's a deal breaker, or no, it's not, because I don't really know. The selfish people I know are not, like, interested in me. I don't, I don't know how else to say that, so low self-esteem is a deal breaker i am not your mother i'm not gonna hype you up every day i can hype you up as much as i feel like but it's not my job to make you feel like you're worth the life you're living and i don't think it's anyone's job to accept your own to make you feel like you're worth the life you're living so deal breaker and i know it sounds so mean of me it is so mean of me but it's, I can't, I don't have the mental capacity for that, I'm sorry. <laughs> Unemployed, once again, it's you on you. Like, I'm not gonna pay your bills, so. If you need a job to do what you want to do in life, then do it. I mean, get one, but if you are fine without a job, then go off, you know? Live your life hooked on an ex definitely a deal breaker if all i hear is about your ex i'm peacing out i'm like no you're still hung up on her go on and be with her like i don't i don't need the constant comparison i will never feel like i'm less than me but worth less than i am you know like if you're thinking of someone else then you don't need me around just it's simple bad breath hmm I kind of a deal breaker but like I think it would be a long-term deal break like at first you just kind of like be like yo let's brush our teeth together if they stood the night or um, always have gum on you and offer them some I don't know dumb things like that if it's really a problem it's a problem, a conversation you can have, and if nothing changes, then deal breaker. <laughs> negative, they're a negative person. That I think that is a deal breaker for me now because I've dealt with so much. The negative people always bring down themselves and it, they bring down you as well. And I don't need that kind of vibe in my life right now I need someone who's gonna be like you're capable of anything you want to do and I will be like yes I am <laughs> not someone who's like oh you're not we're gonna do that and I'm gonna be like you're right it probably is impossible and then tear me down kind of person I don't need them <laughs> a bad kisser hmm I don't know sometimes you can teach that shit I don't know I have kissed one person that was a bad kisser and then I just kind of refused to kiss them the rest of the night and I don't think I've ever seen them again but you know I guess technically it is a deal breaker but if, if something bugs you just say something about it and if they don't fix it or they can't fix it then maybe break up with them boring texter this is not a deal breaker because i'm a boring texter so if it's a deal breaker to you i am so sorry that's me um i just don't care enough to put in like oh yeah let's talk about aliens and ghosts and whatever it may be if you're just saying what's up nothing but you same kind of conversation every day I don't care I mean I will still have that same conversation with you every day it just I won't like you that much 
that's as much as I got in my brain, sorry. <laughs> the next deal breaker is toxic. And I feel like if you're, if you know they're toxic for you, you gotta go. You just have to, it's a deal breaker, bye. You don't need someone bringing you down out all the time. You just don't, rude kind of a deal breaker. I can't stand people who aren't humble enough to see that everyone is kind of in the same boat. It doesn't matter if you're a billionaire or have zero dollars and zero cents and no one, like you're living on the street. You can be nice to someone. It's not that hard. <laughs> I'm not saying go out of your way to be like, oh my god, you look so great today. I'm just saying like, you don't have to be like, what are you wearing? Kind of thing. I don't know. A snorer I'm a light sleeper I think I think that would annoy my soul but it's not a deal breaker if I don't live with you or sleep in the same room as you kind of thing if you have your place and I have mine and we never sleep over together it doesn't it won't bother me obviously you know so take it how you will <laughs> Kinky. I don't think that's a deal breaker. I think as long as they're not pushing what they want onto you if you don't want it, you'll survive. Poor grammar. This annoys my soul actually, but I don't think it's a um, deal breaker. I just think I just get super annoyed. Like it's you have autocorrect on your phone. Like my words never come out right, but. They make sense when I'm typing them because I have autocorrect and if I don't know how to spell it I just say it into the phone like how do you spell blah 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 and then they tell me <sighs> it's kind of kind of annoying personally but I don't think it's a deal breaker like I will not be like I can never see you again because you can't type a proper sentence lack of humor if everything I say you take to heart and like that's a, probably a deal breaker like if I'm just joking around and you can't take the joke ever like maybe a couple times you can't take the joke fine if you could never take a joke mm, yeah I don't know chest or back hair um I don't think I've ever I don't know. I can't say anything because I, I don't think I've ever been in a situation where that's happened to me. So. Next. <laughs> Bad manners. Um, it's not necessarily a deal breaker. No, it is. No, it is. Because why be, why, why? Thank you, please. It's not that hard. It's really, it's, it's not that hard. Even if you don't want to say it, you just, you do. I say it at work to the same guy. His job is literally to take my empty boxes and throw them away. And every time he does, I say thank you. I don't know why. It's I don't have to. I need to stop, but I do. It's a habit. <sighs> um, unfaithful. Girl, if you are in an unfaithful relationship and it wasn't like talked about like that this can happen like if it's an open relationship maybe that's fine but no if you're only meant to be seeing me then you're only going to be seeing me deal breaker bye um abusive deal breaker um toxic in any way abusive mentally physically bye <laughs> you're a secret. I don't think that's a deal breaker because I personally don't like people in my life so if I'm dating someone I'm not necessarily going to be posting all over social media like this is my man's, this is my girlfriend, this is my whatever they are. Um, social media does not need to know as long as you're not a secret to each other or like it's not a secret, I don't know, to each other really. If I know that I'm your only then and you know you're my only then I don't think it's a, that big of a problem I don't know jealous is the last deal breaker and yes it is a deal breaker for me because jealousy I feel like mm, 
it can get to a point where it becomes toxic and abusive and controlling and I cannot be controlled I cannot deal with someone trying to control me so it's a deal breaker for me that's all the deal breakers let me know in the comments what your deal breakers are what you agree or don't agree with I will talk to you in the comment section I will tell you my I will go deeper into conversation if you want to or I will be like you know what you have a good point if you do <laughs> that's all there is though thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you did give this video a thumbs up comment below any other videos you want to see me do and I'll see you guys next time with a new video bye and that's about it.